secret agent, K-7, returns. Adventurer K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in Special Agent M for assignment. Yes, one's K-7. Special Agent M reporting for assignment. Agent M, we have been brought here to cooperate with this country's intelligence department while tests of a new anti-aircraft gun are being conducted. The new gun is of great importance, and the tests will be held in the utmost secrecy. However, news of the event has become known and has attracted attention of several spies. One in particular is dangerous. He is Anton Rain. Here is his record and an account of his activities since he arrived here. Investigate and keep me informed. That is all. Several hours after K-7 issued his instructions to Special Agent M, the spy Rain reported to his superiors. He addressed a group of officers in the consulate of the country for which he worked. Gentlemen, I have approached the inventor of this gun. He refuses to talk with me until after the test. That means but one thing, Rain. If the test is successful, he won't see you at all. The gun will become the property of this government. That will not happen, sir. The tests will fail. How do you know that? I have made two contacts since I've been here. The first was with an official of the munitions plant where the shells for the gun are being manufactured. Each shell to be used in the test will contain twice the amount of explosive called for in the inventor's specifications. The anti-aircraft gun will explode when the first shell is fired. It is good. Rain, I knew you were the man for this job. The exploding gun may also kill several of the higher-ranking military officials gathered to watch the test. It is so planned. Uh -huh. You said you had made two contacts. What of the other? A few hours ago, I received a telephone call from an army officer. I will meet him for dinner tonight. You're sure it's not a trap? It might be. I will use care. However, if I can be on the field when the tests take place, I may be able to make sketches which will enable us to know more of the gun's secrets. Why should we pay this crazy inventor if we can get the secret of the gun? <laughs> well, then you're smart. I leave everything to you. Report those again tomorrow. And if you need more money, send for it. That is all, gentlemen. Early that evening, Agent M and his assistant, Yvonne, arrived at a famous hotel. M wore an officer's uniform. He talked with Yvonne briefly, then entered the dining room alone. All right, Yvonne. I just looked in. He's at the table he described, waiting. You'll go in at once? Yes. Wait for me in the lobby. But first, telephone to L6. Tell him to follow Rain from the moment he leaves the hotel. I will want to report on everyone he talks to after he leaves me. That's all. I should join you within an hour and a half. Good luck. You wait your table, monsieur? Uh, no. I believe this gentleman over here is waiting for me. You are Mr. Lynn? Uh, yes. Uh, won't you sit down? Uh, thank you. I'm Captain Cutterell. I am very glad to see you, Captain. 
Of course, I don't know what it is you wish to talk to me about or even how you learned my name. That's easily explained, monsieur. A few months ago, I worked with Lothiron. Have you ever heard of her? Lothiron, of course. Our business was, uh, well, shall we say, profitable. Last week, I contacted her again. She gave me the names of three men who might be here at this time. Your name was among those three. Uh, I am beginning to understand, Captain. Uh, Monsieur Vane, are you interested in the new anti-aircraft gun the military authorities are testing this week? Why do you ask? Because I have some information. That is the reason I contacted Lothar Ron. I see. The tests will be conducted in two days. It might be possible for you to witness them. Captain, I am a patriot. In the past, your military authorities have on occasions invited a member of our general staff to observe certain tests. This time, your officers have seen fit to withhold that invitation. Yes, I know that. I am not a spy, but I will confess that as a patriot, I am tempted by your offer. Cards of invitation have been issued to certain military and civilian leaders for the tests. I have one such card in my possession. With it, you could observe the anti-aircraft gun in action in complete safety. And uh, you are willing to sell this card of invitation? It is yours for 5,000 pounds. Then I accept. I will pay you 2,000 pounds now and 3,000 at the scene of the test. It is a satisfactory arrangement. The card is in this envelope, together with directions to reach the scene. Present the card and with it the password. And what is the password? The gun's number, BX31. <laughs> Next afternoon, Agent M and Yvonne waited in M's rooms for reports. Anton Lane is smart, Yvonne. 24 hours and we haven't got a thing. We knew where he went last night after he left you. Yes, we know that he visited the council of another country and that he was closeted with several of that country's army officers. He's working with them, there's no doubt about that. But what is he planning? Has L6 reported? No, not in the last three hours. He's tapped Lane's telephone lines, but so far he hasn't heard anything. Now, unless we get... I'll take it. Hello? Oh, yes, L6. A man just called. He made an appointment to meet Rain in the cafe. Have you the address? I'll wait. I'll take it down. Well, it may not be important, but we'll follow it. Yes. Yes, I'll remain here. Yvonne will go to the cafe immediately. A few minutes later, Yvonne entered a small cafe in a distant section of the city. She seated herself in a booth next to one occupied by two men, one of whom she recognized as the man who'd had dinner with them. She placed her order and listened. The shares for the test were delivered this afternoon. You agreed to pay me as soon as they were placed on the field. Yes, I am ready to carry out my agreement. Here's your money. There's 10,000 pounds in this package. Good. Now, you are sure the shells will explode when they are used? Each shell has twice the amount of explosive called for in the specification. Good. When the gun is fired the first time, it will be blown to bits. Fine. Yes, this money is all right. I've got to get out of the country. As soon as the gun blows up, they'll investigate. All right. You've done your job. I leave you. Remember, do not talk to anyone. Don't worry. I won't talk. I'd tell anyone that I sold out to anyone like you. Wish you had your money back, you rotten spy. You should have thought of that before. <laughs> Don't try to move. I've got a gun. Who are you? What do you want? You're under arrest. I'm going to take you to Special Agent M. The next morning, Special Agent M left the city early by train. By 10.30, he was on a field far north of the city. It was nearly time for the test. Men stood about in groups, members of the general staff and of the ministry. Others crowded around the new anti-aircraft gun. M searched for rain. He found him near the gun, making sketches. Good morning, monsieur. Yes. Uh, you were making sketches. Oh, uh, good morning, Captain. I was merely jotting down the names of a few of those who are here. Uh, come, we will go over here and talk. I prefer to stay here, Rain. I see. 
well, uh, then I will leave you. I prefer to stand away. It is easier to watch the gun's performance. You will stand right where you are. What are you doing? There's a gun in my coat pocket. I have it pressed against your side. The others are drawing back. You are going to stand here by the gun. No, no, you don't know. What don't I know? The, the gun crew is taking the positions. They're going to fire. The first shot will be directed at that captive balloon over the left end of the field. They're taking aim. Captain, we have got to leave. We must get back. Stand still or I'll pull the trigger. You don't understand, Captain. The gun will explode. The shells get back. They're ready to fire. Stand where you are, Ren. <laughs> nice hit. Uh, watch. They're aiming at the second one. It's much higher. Captain, you showed me the card and password. You're as guilty as I am. You've got to listen. We were lucky the gun didn't explode. It will this time. We'll be blown to bits. No, and it won't explode, Ren. Oh, you were making sketches and notes. I thought so. I arrest you as a spy. Huh? Your plot has failed. I had new shells delivered here last night. You cannot prove anything. You sold me my pass. I am not an army officer, as you believe, Rain. I'm Special Agent M. And you're under arrest. And in this country, spies face the firing squad. Special Agent M. Reporting, K-7. Anton Rain and all who aided him are under arrest. I waited until I could take Rain with sketches of the new anti-aircraft gun on his person. The case is closed. are even more active than in the days of the World War. Nations are rearming. New weapons of defense are being studied and tested. Peace may depend upon their effectiveness. Listen for my next story. This is K7 speaking.